Hey guys, this is Jeb Sherrill once again with the Chair System, and I'm still not a guitar teacher, but I am here to show you more of how to use this pattern. Uh, believe it or not, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Uh, I apologize. It has been so long since I've been on. I had long COVID, and I was literally on my back in bed for four months, and it just took me a while to get back to this, and I really do apologize, but I'm going to start putting out regular content again. Today we're going to go over connected patterns. Now we're going to be using kind of the stuff we've already learned, but I'm just going to show you kind of a different way to look at it. Uh, this is a way that helps start shrinking the fretboard to you and making you really feel like you can get to any part of the fretboard you want to and do the exact same thing as you could in another part of the fretboard. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use the regular chair guitar. Um, I'm not going to use the one with the, with the additional diatonic notes. We're going to use the, the additional diatonic notes, but we're not going to, to, to actually be able to see them. And the reason for that is because while that's very useful for visualizing, what I really want you to visualize most of the time is just the regular chair shapes, not, not the extra notes, because those are going to be things you're going to add in. All I really want you to do is burn this pattern into your mind, and then you're able to add stuff into the pattern, like those two extra notes, and a whole bunch of other shapes that I'm going to show you kind of how to hang on these shapes so that you can play all kinds of different things in different ways. So the shape I'm going to be showing you today is basically a minor shape that I use all the time. It, whenever I solo, I want to have control of certain notes. In this case, uh, the root the second, the third, and the fifth. I always want to have those four notes, and then I can, I, I can jump to other notes from there, but I want to have those under my fingers a lot of the time. So this is a minor or aeolian shape, and it's going to be under each and every chair. So anytime you're playing in minor, this is a great shape to jump to. I know I've show, showed you this before. We have our root, second, third, and lower fifth. You also have the higher fifth right here, but I often use the lower one. It's good, it's good to have both. But what we're going to be teaching in this lesson is how to link them, because there's a lot of cool stuff you can do when you start realizing where all of these chairs are, and so you can slide into the same shape. I'll show you what I mean. Let's take this as your central shape because it's under a chair right in the middle of the fretboard. And from there, if you wanted, you could shift to that exact same shape. In other words, those exact same notes into different places on the guitar. Watch this. So now here's the thing, whenever you're playing under blue chairs, or what you know I'm showing as blue chairs here, they're going to be the exact notes. And so you can link the exact same notes and just play in different areas. For instance, you could play underneath this chair. going with the phrase, and then you would have access to different notes. So in other words, uh, or, or rather notes in a different way. So when you're, when you're playing through, and you're playing any kind of phrase here, you can just slide and continue the phrase with the exact same notes, except that now you're at the top of the fretboard instead of down here in the middle of it. And that has different advantages depending on what you're doing. Now, the two things I can do here is I can either move to the same notes by moving from blue chair to blue chair, 
or I can move to other octaves by sliding into the other different colored chairs. I'll show you what I mean. If you're playing down here on this blue chair, but you want to go higher without having to take your finger off the string, because you're dealing with a two string pattern, in other words, no matter what, you're going to be on one of these two strings while you're playing, you can always slide down to another chair, either to, the, either to one side of the chair or the other, what I mean. So here I'm sliding from this octave to this octave. And this, of course, is the same octave. So if I'm going from this, this pink chair, I can slide up to that pink chair over to the blue, over to the orange. And obviously I'd go off the fretboard here, but you can see what I mean, where you can just start shrinking the fretboard by sliding and having access to other notes. Let me show you this on another guitar that I can play a whole lot better than this one. So here's a guitar I can play a little better. Um, you do the exact same thing. And you can play from one shape to the next shape and then just connect them using the other side of the chair. really doing is moving from one from that minor shape to the same minor shape on a different place in the guitar, uh, whether it's the same octave or different octaves. And this is something that will really start allowing you to see how the system really works by connecting the shapes, by sliding one shape to the other. Because once you know, once you can see the chairs all up and down the fretboard, you're just moving from shape to shape around those chairs. Now what we're going to do in further lessons is show other shapes that will also hang on the chairs and you can just move around the fretboard using those other shapes and jumping from one shape to the other and all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, tell me what you think of this one. Tell me what you think of, of this shape and how it's used and uh, ask me questions. I can really use questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm glad to be back, guys. I'll see you later.